Okay, this is a 900 BQ with the rotating mag changer. And oftentimes these mag changers get stiff, won't turn, and they need to be cleaned and relubed. To do this, we only need a few things. We're going to need, definitely going to need a jeweler screwdriver. This one is 1.5 by 40, if that makes any difference, but it's really small. You're going to definitely need that, and needle nose, a couple of uh, screwdrivers. First thing we're going to do is take off the binoculars. Those aside. Good. We will loosen these nuts on the knobs with needle nose. Behind that nut, there's a waffle washer. Acts like a spring. While we're here, got that the right side off. You might want to put a little R on there so you'll remember this is the right. See these two holes? they coincide with the screw head. That's where they, they, they'll they fit in. But if you forget to do that, it's okay. Over here we're going to take off these two screws. Can you see that? Yeah, we're going to take those two off. And we'll take off this washer. You have a spring here that holds this bearing. The bearing goes into these notches that are on the end of this barrel. So we'll take the spring off. Be careful, might want to might want to travel. Got that. Move that out of the way. I didn't tell you to loosen these at the beginning before you took the other side off. That would have been a good idea. But go ahead and pop them both. Same thing here. This is the left, so we'll put a little L to remind us it's the left. If you forget, don't worry about it. We also have a little waffle washer right there. Acts like a spring. We're not going to take these two screws off. Don't need to. But those are screw heads that the knob fits over. They fit right on top of this. Okay, now, to get the barrel out, this washer is what's holding it in. It's locked in by a screw that's screwed into the washer. And you get to it through here. There's four screws here. I've already taken three off. I'm going to take the fourth one off. These might be pretty tough. Take this off, put it to the side. Now, 
We're going to get our nice jeweler screwdriver and right there I'm just going to unscrew it until it gets flush with the top and that'll be sufficient. Now there's nothing to hold this washer in. It's going to be pretty hard because if it's frozen this thing is in here tight. So what we're going to do is going to put it to the side and push down various amounts of pressure until it comes up. What's happening is this washer, this big disc, there's grease on one side of it that's adhering to the edge of your barrel. That grease is decomposing and, and it's beginning to stiffen. So if there's grease in there, it's going to want to freeze the rotation. So that's got to be clean, pulled off and cleaned. If it's hard to get off, work it in there. Pry it. Pry it off. You'll get it. Sometimes it's harder than others. We will clean both sides. Careful not to touch your lenses. You can hold it like this and then we will clean this side. This side has the notches where our, our bearing is touching. Clean both these areas all the way around with lighter fluid. If you happen to touch your lenses, you can clean them with Windex. We use these. Clean this area and then on the inside. See that area right there? You got to clean on the inside there too. Get all the old grease off. After you've cleaned everything, re lube it. We use number two, Hogstrite's number two grease. It's very thin, almost like Vaseline, but it's not wet like Vaseline. It's, it's a dry, dry, thin grease. It only takes very little grease. Stick, and a little bit at a time, go around it. Keep getting a little bit of grease and go around it. However, on this side, where our disc is going to be riding, all we need to do is put grease on the inside edge of this disc. Not on the not on the flat surface. Not on either flat surface, but on the just on the edge, all the way around. Because that's the only thing that's going to be making contact really with our barrel. If you get a lot of grease on this on this 
edge when it's up against the barrel, that's what's going to cause it to re-stick in a few years. So you want to make those two surfaces as clean as possible without grease. But we do want grease right on the ins on the rim, on the inside rim. After you've greased those up, side with the notches is going to go in first. We'll get our disc with the thin coat of grease on the inside. Push it on down. Hear that click? It went in. Tight. Still turning. If it sounds a little bit, little dry in there, maybe we didn't get enough lubricant in there, but it should be good. It should be silent. Let's lock it back in with our jewel or screwdriver. And put our lens back on. If you want to check your lenses in case you got them dirty or grease, you can check them and clean them with your cotton swabs and Windex. But you can do that later on the other side too, so it's okay. For the sake of time, I'm not going to put all four in, but that's what we would do. Put all four screws in. Come over here. Time to put our spring back on. But if you grabbed it right there, then you can fit it on the arm. And then pull it over. Get it in. And it will go into the little notches for the spring. You can put our washer back on. Two screws. We can put on our knob now. Something that might be helpful is if you don't know, if you didn't know which one was which, just turn the mag into the smallest lens. That's going to be the 40. 40 is going to be right up top. Smallest lens, 40 on top. This is my left, but I, if I didn't know that, I would see where my screw heads are. Now that doesn't work. Try the other one. 40. Put your screws 
screw back in. Turn around. Shouldn't have any play. There's your two screw heads, your knob. Get her back to 40. Get the 40 on top. Hold line up. That's what will happen. Not careful. They'll slip and mark it a little bit. That's it. Should be nice and smooth. Should be clicking. Just like factory. You can do this. Alright, let's go put it back on the slip lamp.